So this video is about the HP 20S, which was released on the market in 1988. The 20S was part of HP's Pioneer series of calculators, which included nine different original models plus two successor models. And they all utilize the same basic packaging and the excellent Saturn microprocessor. Now, the 20S came in a soft uh, faux leather case uh, and has a great build quality. The user manual mentioned that it was designed to withstand drops, uh, vibrations, pollutants, temperature extremes, and humidity variations. Uh, and it's quite compact and slim. It only weighs 120 grams. Uh, on its back, it has uh, five rubber feet uh, to stop it slipping on the desk. And it takes three button cell batteries. The keyboard is the same format across the whole uh, Pioneer series uh, and the keyboard is great to use and the keys all have a satisfying uh, springiness to them. Uh, they're not quite as tactile as the Voyager series calculators such as the 12C uh, but nonetheless are very good. Uh, the 20S has a 12 digit 7 segment LCD display which is the most simple of the three variations used in the Pioneer series. Uh, but it is a clear and high contrast display and it looks uh, crisper uh, than some of the more sophisticated dot matrix displays used in the other Pioneer calculators. So this calculator uses algebraic notation rather than RPN. So I can type in 2 plus 3 times 4 and then hit equals to see the answer. Uh, but it does also have two registers, uh, X and Y, that are used for some operations. And to move a value from the X register into the Y register, you just hit input. Uh, and then you can uh, use the swap key uh, to switch the two register values. And the calculator also supports fixed scientific and engineering display. Uh, so if I switch to scientific, um, I can enter in numbers with an exponent, but it does require uh, hitting the blue shift key, uh, which can be a little bit slow. Uh, and the calculator obviously supports all the usual uh, trigonometric functions, including hyperbolics, and you can use degrees, uh, radians or gradients. Uh, and the calculator supports displaying numbers in uh, binary, octal, decimal, and hexadecimal. Uh, so if I switch to hex mode, uh, I can enter in a hexadecimal number uh, and do an arithmetic uh, and then switch back to decimal. There are also the usual powers, uh, logarithm and, and root functions, uh, and the calculator supports statistical functions. Uh, so you can enter in a series of numbers uh, using the sigma plus key, uh, and then get the mean uh, and standard deviation. Uh, you can also enter a series of coordinates using the X and Y registers uh, and then the calculator can do a linear regression and tell you the slope of the line that fits the points. Uh, and there's also a pi key, uh, factorial and combinations and permutations and it supports some unit conversions such as uh, pounds to kilograms and degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. Uh, and you can also store and retrieve uh, values from nine registers. Uh, so say I can store the value 5 in uh, register 1, uh, and then I can retrieve it back. And the 20S also supports keystroke programming. So a keystroke program is just a sequence of keystrokes that can get played back later. So for example, to create a program to calculate the area of a circle from a radius, uh, you just enter program mode. Uh, you clear your program space uh, and then you would square the radius and multiply by pi uh, and hit equals. And then you can exit out of program mode. And now um, I can enter a radius uh, and hit run stop uh, to see the area of my circle. Uh, or I could hit a 
enter another radius and hit run stop. Uh, so programs on the 20S can support subroutines, uh, but they don't have indirect addressing. Uh, and the 20S has quite a limited set of conditional statements, only uh, x equals 1 and x is less than or equal to y. And since the screen is not alphanumeric, uh, when you enter a program, you only see uh, the in instruction codes. Uh, so this, this can make it a little bit tricky uh, editing uh, programs. So the 20S also supports six program libraries that can be loaded in from ROM. Uh, so there's a root finder, uh, you can do numeric integrals, there's a set of complex number functions, uh, and the 3 by 3 matrix operations, uh, there's a quadratic equation solver and a curve fitting program. Uh, so for example, to load the complex number library in from ROM, uh, enter into program mode, and then hit the load key, and then the letter C. Uh, and then exit out of program mode. And now there are a bunch of label programs available for doing complex arithmetic uh, and other operations. Uh, so say to add two complex numbers, uh, say 1 plus 2i and 3 plus 4i, uh, I'd hit uh, 1 input and then 2, uh, and then I'd hit um, the qx equal operation uh, and label C. Uh, and then I'd hit, hit um, 3, input 4, and then run stop. And my imaginary part of my result is in the X register, and the real part is in the Y register. Uh, so these libraries are not always very user-friendly, uh, and they do overwrite any other keystroke programs uh, you have in memory. So in summary, the HP20S is a basic scientific calculator, uh, but it's functional and fast with a very good display, keyboard, and look and feel. Uh, it doesn't have real support for fractions, uh, complex numbers, or matrices, uh, but overall the 20S is a very nice scientific calculator and probably a good option for a high school student. And even though there are other RPN scientific calculators from the Pioneer series, uh, such as the 32 and 42S, which were a lot more powerful, uh, the 20S does have a certain simplicity, uh, despite its quirks. And you can pick these up reasonably cheaply on eBay or Facebook Marketplace. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful.